Okay, so we are starting a new topic. We're finally multiplying fractions. So we've already predicted fractions, predicted the products when multiplying, so now we're actually going to calculate and get the products. And you may not realize it, but you've actually already multiplied fractions. So when we were finding equivalent fractions back with adding and subtracting, and you were multiplying by 3 over 3 or 4 over 4, you know, any fraction equal to 1, you were actually multiplying fractions. So, just real quick with the I can statements, and then we'll start digging into it. I can make a whole number into a fraction by putting a 1 under it. Right? 4 is 4 over 1. This is something we've already talked about. I can multiply fractions by multiplying straight across, numerator by numerator, denominator by denominator. One half times one half, it's one times one, and two times two to get one over four. Then I can break down the problem to numerator times numerator divided by denominator by denom times denominator. Because remember, we already talked that that fraction line is the same thing as the division sign. Right? So it's 1 times 1 divided by 2 times 2. And so technically it's 1 divided by 4. And we got that with fractions or division 2. And then the last thing is I can solve the area model. If you remember area models, it's outside times outside equals inside. Okay, we're going to start with the um, area model and then move on. See you in the next video. Happy math.